Hello, I'm James Milan. On their accreditation visit to Arlington High School in the spring of 2013, members of the New England Association of Schools and Colleges stated that the low quality of the facilities produced a negative effect on its learning environment. Problems with crowded classrooms, unsafe labs, and dirty hallways have plagued AHS for years, and the continuing growth in our student population threatens to make the situation even worse. This month, the Arlington School Committee and Town of Arlington submitted a plan to the Massachusetts School Building Authority, or MSBA, which issues grants for capital improvements in local public schools, about how to best rebuild the school. Joining me to talk about this is Dr. Kathleen Bodie, Superintendent of Arlington Schools. Dr. Bodie, thanks for coming in. My pleasure, Jane. Appreciate it very much. I wanted to first just to ask that open-ended question, why does the high school need to be renovated? It needs renovation almost in every way you can look at it. If you just simply look at it from the point of view of the building, uh, it, it is, represents actually three different buildings built at different times. and the oldest building was built over 100 years ago. All of the, all of the systems in the, in the high school need to be uh, updated or re entirely replaced, and that includes heat, electricity, lighting, plumbing, the roof, um, our boilers. We've re replaced two of them, but two of them, which are the backups for the two that we have replaced, are very, very old. There's virtually nothing in the high school that does not need, at the physical building level, updating. Programmatically, uh, we need to have a renovation uh, because our classrooms, first of all, are too small. If you were to look at the recommendations for classroom sizes from MSBA, only 23% of our classrooms meet the minimum, minimum square footage, which poses a problem when our class sizes are growing, makes classrooms very crowded, but it also poses a, a safety problem in our science labs when you're, when you're having a, a lab experiment and you have too many students in the space that's, uh, that we have. So what do you anticipate student enrollment to be over the course of the next, say, five to 10 years? It's growing, that, that we know. In the last uh, three years, we've added 450 students. So it's roughly about a 3% increase each year, which is a, a very rapid, rate of increase for a school system. This year's kindergarten is five over 500. Right now it's 513. And we're seeing that the number of children that are being born in town um, are also increasing, which is a compliment to the town. It means a lot of people want to live in Arlington, and I, and I take it as a compliment to the school system as well. Um, our students do perform very, very well. Over the next few weeks, we will further explore the future of Arlington schools and the challenges they face in a new series called Building Arlington's Schools. For Arlington Public News, and on behalf of Dr. Bodie, this is James Milan. Thanks for joining us.